Okay, okay, we have now added image generation to the bulk publishing spreadsheet. Do you know what this means? This means that we can generate images while we generate all of our blog posts. So unique images for every single blog post. It's, at the moment, it's on its own tab. Just been testing it out with simple, simple prompts. Um, let me do another one. I'm just doing what comes to my head. Um, uh, speakers, uh, home stereo system. Um, yeah, and it's it's uh, it's two cents per word uh, per word. <laughs> it's two cents per uh, image, and the images are a thousand and twenty four px. I think so. They're all square images. Um, so what have I added? Is there a oh? There's no um. There's no code here. Let's uh, drag that down. So what um what I'm going to be doing because they are as I said square images. I'm going to be using these images because sometimes there can be inconsistencies um these look, all look pretty good for the prompts i've given them uh, there can be some inconsistencies when it comes to images so what i'm going to probably do is going to be a bit of a headache but what i'm going to do is um i'm going to get uh placid to grab these the url for these images i'm going to make a template in placid and i'll get it to grab these images and use them either as a background with text overlay or as an image overlay. So it's still gonna be unique images, but they're going to be designed to fit the theme of the site. So that's gonna make things so much easier because otherwise um, I have to, I mean, I still have to make the placid connection, but otherwise you have to put a URL on the spreadsheet, get it to grab that. So you have to like, you know, put all the images up to begin with and this just saves you because one you get the the unique images and then you get the url so it just it's just automating the process even more so if you already have the bulk publishing framework refresh sorry go over go back over and grab the updated version of the of the spreadsheet you'll find the image generation tab you can just copy these fields into the sheet that you're working on so that you'll be able to put it in here the reason i've put it separate is because I want to be able to see these images. If I make these columns shorter, um, then you you know the image will be small. But you can copy and paste it if you if, when you're ready to do your automation and you're ready to click and drag. You can just copy and paste the same formula to the end of your sheet. And once you've done that, um, you don't have to worry because if you're doing like a hundred articles or a thousand articles, you don't really want them to be as spaced out as that. It makes it really hard to see things. Um, so yeah, so it's there, check it out, um, head over to arielphoenix.com forward slash bulk publishing. If you want to check this tool out, this tool is only going to get better. I'm committed to building this out and taking it as far as it can go. This is something I needed. I built it and it's solving a problem for me. So I hope it can solve a problem for you and we can take this topical dominance thing right to the top of Google. <laughs> That's it, guys. Peace.